Okay, Peter. Welcome to Kiev, to Institute of Zoology. Thank you very much. I know that you study calcid wasps. Why calcid wasps? And which group is your favorite group yes. which you study? Okay, thank you. Why it is so unique group, quite interesting, very specific. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about it. So thank you for the question. Why calcid wasps? It's, I think it's clear because if you can see they are pretty and uh, there are so many species and mostly undescribed species so it's quite of mystery for you know everybody and uh, also not the mystery concerning with the undescri uh, undescribing species but if you uh, study more deep so you see that there are parasitoids of many insects and they are very important in the nature so that's why I am interested in the health it's because it's a huge group with various uh, lifestyles and my specific group uh, is uh, family Torimidae which is for me the most most pretty nicest group in the world <laughs> and uh, they are ectoparasitoids of uh, various, various uh, goal makers and that's also why I'm studying them because uh, I started to collect the goals and then reared many torimates and ask asked me what's in there you know so that's why i started to study torimates i think but calcids they are usually very small who did find them firstly and showed it for you who was the person yeah, who introduced calcids for you yeah uh, they are very small but uh, i used to used to join some entomological club and uh, there were some old men who personally is dealing with uh, grasshoppers but he collected or he, he collects many other groups of insects and one day he came to me and asked me I have very small but under the microscope there are pretty wasps just try to look on, uh, on them and then let me know what, what do you think about and I had a look on them and then I uh, tell him, no, oh, that's amazing, what, what's that? <laughs> I would like to deal with them. So that's the, I think, easy step to halt it, but that's it. <laughs> and of course, uh, I might say that, uh, for example, Leucospide, Calcidide are uh, groups very famous and favorite of Zdenek Bovochik. Yeah, sure. Tell us about him a little. Okay, Zdenek uh, for me was he, he was great great man, uh, not only uh, in uh, uh, knowledge about houses, but I uh, I would like to say that he was great man also like personally, and uh, he was maybe something like my dad. I can I can say because we we spent many days and months together and. Uh, uh, not only in Halcids, he, he uh, touched me very, very much from his life. Yeah, I know. Where did, did you meet him first time? I met him in a museum, but not National Museum in Prague, but in small uh, museum in Brno, which is the second. In Moravia? In Moravia, yeah. yeah. Second museum in, in yeah. uh, Czech Republic. And how long time you've been in London? You visited him as well. Yeah, I visited him several times. Uh, I think altogether I I spent there three times for two weeks. Yeah. So yeah. altogether more than one and a half months. But uh, after that I visited him also in his cottage near Hradec Králové, which is in the Czech Republic. He spent there most of his life or in end of his life. Did he show you some? unique features of biology for example because maybe you was in nature sometimes with him yeah yeah, yeah. did he explain you something funny interesting yeah. he, he, sh he showed me firstly he showed me how to distinguish not only to the families of course but to genera for example some teromarates and calcidates and so on yeah. and uh, when we have been to the field so he showed me where is the best to collect the best species and so on <laughs> so he gave me also his knowledge for the collecting not only for distinguishing yeah of course he, he had a very sharp eye 
yeah, on, yeah, on yeah. cut seeds. Yeah. He's a famous yeah. cut seeds of Australasia, biggest book yeah, about he, cut seeds. He, 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 could, he could find uh, good characters on cut seeds and also he could uh, draw all characters yes, absolutely very absolutely amazing pictures, that's true. So I think that was the next power that he, he could distinguish exact species variation and he he, he could uh, to put into the, the books in the paper. Yeah, he could easily recognize is it just variation or this is just a species? Yeah, yeah. Because this is a uh, border is can be very close. Yeah, sure. Difficult to understand. It's still the same species sure, or maybe I, new I, one. I believe this Daniek uh, had good uh, good knowledge about and good view into the variation of the species. And I know you published a paper about uh, molecular genetics of calcites as well. Yeah. Just recently. Yeah. Did you visit uh, Canada, States? Yeah, I've been to California and then went to the Canada. And how you CNC collection? How you how do you think about prospects, the future of this uh, direction? <laughs> molecular study, I mean. Yeah, I think it's you know it's. Uh, necessary skill in these days for not only for houses but you know, for all groups of uh, animals and plants or organisms in the world and I think it uh, it is uh, other skill how to how to find the exact border between the species and I think that it's, it's very important for, for us these, these skills. Oh, here, for example, some pictures of pyramids. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell which one was very surprising for you, for example? Quite unusual, which you studied or you want to study among yeah, your course, group? For me, it's uh, Houtzimerus borsai. It's it's very nice species, which uh, I collected last year for the first time. And uh, it's quite also quite uh, quite quite huge species so you know you can you can see to other people how pyramids or how seeds are nice and uh, it's also very interesting species because of uh, phylogeny it seems to be some species in the base of, of uh, Torimina but you know <laughs> it's just uh, my opinion and, and it's necessary to, to proceed or to go deep to, to this uh, species. And how you can count how many species of pteromids in Europe or in Palearctic approximately? About 1,000. 1,000? Yeah. Oh, quite huge. huge there, there will be some more inside Torimus genus because you know, it's very difficult and huge genus. And uh, some more species in a small genera, but I think. But how many species new can be expected? How many? Hundred? Uh, in Europe, I don't know. The, the The number probably will not be so so higher than now. But for example, in America, like in North America or South America, there is many new species still undescribed. So I think, especially in uh, this part of the world will be recognized probably more new species. I don't know. Or even uh, in tropics as well. As yeah, well. Yeah, 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 of sure. course, of course. So you s you are working now with collection. So morphological study is still very important. Yeah, sure. You <laughs> you need to know morphology to say something about you know the species. You can have sequence sequen uh, sequences of DNA, but if you don't know the species, so that's for nothing. <laughs> yeah, this is only a laboratory study. Yeah. People cannot recognize species on their image. They can have, they have only results, which, which are very helpful for species identification. Yeah, sure. But morphological study is very important. It's necessary. <laughs> yeah, it's mandatory in an entomological yeah, yeah, study. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I wish you good luck. Many new species. Good luck in your study, in your university, and worldwide. Thank you very much. <laughs>